In the last lesson, we dealt with the complexities of decision making, examine Simon's four step decision making process, and discuss key strategies. Now, in this lesson, we will introduce decision support systems and dig into different classifications and types. DSS is an umbrella term describing any computerized systems that supports decision making in an organization. Most importantly, with semi-structured and unstructured situations that middle-level managers typically face. There are many, many types of DSS in knowledge management systems, marketing, finance, and accounting systems within an ERP system, a supply chain management system, a rule-based expert systems. These are different types of DSS system. There are three key characteristics of a DSS system. First, they combine analytical techniques like using models with data access and retrieval functionality. Second, they focus on interactive features that are easy to use. And third, they emphasize flexibility and adaptability so that they can accommodate changes in business environment and in decision-making approach and style of a decision-maker. DSS contains three main components. First, the data management part of the DSS has the role of getting data from various databases. It contains a database, a database management system, and data di directory and query facility. The modern management subsystem includes financial, statistical, management science, or other quantitative models that provide the system's analytical capabilities. The user interface subsystems allows user to access data via graphical user interface, dashboard, or portals on a computer, phone, or tablet. The user interface needs to be user-friendly and provide an intuitive, familiar, and consistent interface for interaction. Those are the main components of any DSS system. Now let's discuss different type of DSS. Dan Power created a contemporary classification system for DSS where it calls out five types. A data-driven DSS manipulates large amount of numerical data that is often stored in a data warehouse. These systems use online analytical processing to produce reports, dashboards, and scorecards for business performance measurement system. This course will focus on data-driven DSS, but let me quickly introduce you to the four other types. Document-driven DSS focuses on unstructured file types like transcript, documents, videos, sound file, and even images that contain information. A document-driven DSS relies on coding, analysis, search, and retrieval of documents. A knowledge management system like Wikipedia fall into this category. A knowledge-driven DSS focuses on knowledge and expertise. It recommends courses of action by incorporating experience and judgment to support automated decision making. Artificial neural network and knowledge-based expert systems fall into this category. A model-driven DSS uses optimization or simulation models to optimize one or more objectives. Microsoft Excel, for example, is a tool commonly used to develop model-driven DSS. These systems may include statistical packages, simulation models, and many financial and management science models. Data-driven and model-driven DSS have evolved into executive information systems, which are used to access news, stock prices, and information about competitors, customers, key performance indicators, and internal operation via dashboards and scorecards. And finally, a communication-driven DSS includes group support systems for collaboration and group work, 
any audio and video conferencing tool that supports meetings, design, collaboration, and even supply chain management falls into this category. A number of familiar applications have been born from DSS, which will give you a sense of the field's evolution. The terms DSS encompasses them all, but they are each a distinct subgroup. Expert systems are computer programs that incorporate the knowledge of one or more human experts in a narrow problem domain and can solve problems that the experts ordinarily solve. The 911 system is a great example of a yes system. When you make a 911 call, the operator access a yes system to diagnose the problem and dispatch the police or paramedic. Group support systems are used for idea generation, group writing, and record keeping. A conferencing system like GoToMeeting supports remote group decision making where people no longer have to travel to participate in meetings. If you have ever used your mobile phone to locate a nearby bank or restaurant or hardware store, you have used both geographic information systems and global positioning systems. GPS is a standard in many new automobiles, and businesses use these systems to make marketing decisions that require knowing the exact demographics of a given location. A knowledge management system can be used to identify similar past situations and how they were handled. Wikipedia is a KMS which many people use on a daily basis. Companies use internal wikis to post policies and procedures associated with employment, memos, and internal documents. And as mentioned earlier, executive information systems are used to access news, stock prices, and information about competitors, customers, key performance indicators, internal operation using dashboards and a scorecard. Enterprise resource planning systems, customer relationship management systems, supply chain management systems, these can be specific to individual or group needs while providing the ability to roll up data and information to support broader organizational decision-making needs. As a whole, these systems are called management support systems. MSS in campus information systems that are used to support management actions at institutional level. For example, an organization may have a knowledge management system to guide all its personnel in their problem solving. It may have separate support system for marketing, finance, and accounting, a supply chain management system for production, and several expert systems for product repair, diagnostic, and help desk.